Well, students at one local high school won't have to bring books to school at all next year. As our Brad Davis explains, it's part of a plan that's ditching the old and embracing the new. Congratulations to the Clearwater High class of 2010. The last class to use one of these, a textbook. That last stage of exhaustion. Replacing the textbook will be one of these, an e-reader. Clearwater is sampling the Amazon Kindle. I personally don't like reading textbooks, so this, having it would help me, you know, pay more attention to what I'm listening to, doing my work, getting it done, and understanding it. Two-thirds of their day is spent on some kind of electronic item, whether it be an iPod, cell phone, a computer, and we need to find ways to tap that to get the kids more interested in school. All Pinellas County schools, including Clearwater High, are under a decentralized decision-making model, which means... Some principals can look at their budgets and find ways to use them um, to suit their needs of the school. If today we're studying supply and demand and economics, and I want you to go back and look at the... Linda Smith has been teaching social studies at Clearwater High for 30 years. Things have changed a lot, I, I, but this is one of the neatest breakthroughs we've had. And this can have every single one on their textbooks. So instead of having to carry seven textbooks with them, now they have this one simple piece of electronics. Streamlined learning, all at the fingertips of these students. It's always going to be with me, and it's just going to keep me way more organized, and it's going to like want me to, it's going to give me like another desire to want to learn and stuff. It's pretty cool. The student will be responsible for the e-reader once it's removed from school property. Insurance policies will be made available. In Clearwater, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.